gas prices up again just in the past 24 hours. Now experts warn, if Russia invades, we could be paying four bucks a gallon. You might be surprised to hear just how much oil the U.S. imports directly from Russia. So let's run a stress test tonight on our markets. How much of a buffer do we have? Jay Young knows the good, the bad, the risky of the industry. He owns King Operating Corporation, a privately owned Texas oil and gas company based in Dallas. Jay, let's say we lose Russian oil, even temporarily. Are we in trouble? No, we're not in trouble. I mean, we're in trouble in the United States for oil and oil production. So, it, but, but, but Russia doesn't have a lot to do with it. I mean, we get about 700,000 barrels a year from, or a day from Russia. So they're not a big, we need 20 million barrels a day in the United States. We produce about 12, a little over 12 now. So we need 8 million barrels a day from other countries, not necessarily Russia. They're not really paying a big part of it, as it mentioned on your show a minute ago. We're, we're getting a little bit. So that's not going to be our problem. So don't think that if Russia and Putin, President Putin says, okay, we're really out, and he didn't do a head fake, which I think he's doing a pretty good pretty good head fake right now, that, that he's going to get out of Ukraine, we're still going to have a problem with oil. So it's not just Russia and Ukraine. We have a lot of problems to okay. go down the road. Okay. How about American producers? We always hear about the strategic reserve. Um, but, you know, you always hear OPEC countries deciding, do we want to ramp up production? Do we want to ease it down? Any way American producers could ramp it up a bit, make up the difference? Yeah, you know, that's a great question. I was on a, a show the other night, and they were saying, hey, yeah, why don't you old guys just get together in a little room and just go, hey, let's put all this money together and let's go drill oil wells. And that, that would be... Absolutely awesome, because there's nothing that I love better. And my family's been in this business since 1915. So we've we've drilled a lot of wells. We've seen a lot of ups and downs. Nothing we like to see better. But right now, the oil business is going down. We're not drilling for oil in the United States. Basically, three reasons. Number one, the, the corporations right now are continuing to not put money to work like they should. Look at Exxon. Exxon makes... Six billion dollars last quarter. They spend ten billion dollars buying back their stock. Oh my goodness! Well, why 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 would they do that when you have eighty dollar ninety dollar oil? You know, but the shareholders are putting a lot of pressure on the oil companies to not go back to work. Number one. Okay. Number two is because you have a lot of people that are that are right now thinking, oh, this is all about ecology. We don't want to drill for oil and gas. We're going green and tree huggers and things of that nature. No, 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 no. That's not going to happen anytime soon. Yes, I believe it will happen. Uh -huh. And, I and what's the, the third reason? Greener, not green, but greener, because we're not going to go uh -huh. green anytime soon. Third reason is because institutions are pulling out. Private equities, Blackstones, okay. they're pulling out of the markets. And when they don't give us money to go drill, we don't drill. The supplies can't do it. down and demand's up. I want to ask you a big picture here. We have seen a giant push for energy self-reliance over the past 20 years. I would say since 9-11, you know, it became a big priority. Does Russia have less leverage now because we have been focused on that? Yeah, they, well, they don't forget, right before the pandemic, Saudi Arabia and Russia threw a lot of oil on our markets in the United States because they wanted to oversupply us with oil. And they did because our demand went way down during the pandemic. So, yes, they did do that. But what they're trying to do right now is they're trying to do the same thing they're doing to Europe. They're, they're trying to tighten up the oil supplies, the natural gas supplies. They ran gas prices to $25 a thousand over in Europe. They'll do the same thing to anybody they can. President Putin is, is he's after for the money. They, they produce 10 million barrels a day. They only, they only, they only need three to four million. So five million barrels a day mm. is what they sell in the open markets all over the world. Five million a day. Just think about that. Five million barrels times 80 times $30 ton of money for Putin. And he, he wants to get greedier. <laughs> the math. Um, well, I, I tell you what, um, it sounds like you're saying he doesn't necessarily have the U.S. over a barrel, which is great news. And... Um, you know, you saying the U.S. is in a fairly good position? Very good. Jay Young, oil baron. Thank you, sir.